Fatty May. It's a political song. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Good morning. Welcome to Northern Michigan Musicians Journal. I am Dolph, and we've got a great show today. Um, if I look a little bit sad, it's because my co-host isn't here. She she had to leave early. We're doing we're doing two shows in a row today, and this is our second show. But I was fortunate enough to talk Miriam Pico into coming over to being. I a begged. I wanted to. Co-host, <laughs> and uh, uh, oh, she's been great here in the studio, but. Uh, these are the Drukes, and you just heard them play. We started the show out with some of their tunes. They're all original, and it was really great, man, to hear some vibration coming through the walls here at Up North Media. <laughs> um, uh, right across from me is, is Jim, Hi. and then we have Joey and Jeremy. Mm -hmm. And it's just a coincidence, their names all start with J. Absolutely. They really do the big R, the rock and roll. And uh, uh, Miriam's gonna help me ask questions. But to get things started, though, how long have the Drugs been together, and how did you come up with the name? Double question. Uh, I think it was just, it, it just over a year. year. Yeah, yeah, just a little under a year. Uh, I mean, we've all been in other bands, so it was easier to you know to get together and start mm -hmm. playing instead of you know trying to learn instruments and then be become a band. So, mm -hmm. but uh, it's been fun, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah and you play bass. I play bass. Yeah. Jim plays bass, and uh, uh, Joey plays drums. Yes. And Jeremy plays lead guitar. Yep. And you all sing? And vocals. I don't and vocals. sing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I do a little touch of singing. Yes. <laughs> and the Droogs? Oh, the Droogs. Well, it was, uh, it's uh, obviously a uh, Clockwork Orange reference. Um, and uh, in the beginning, where they're at the milk bar, uh, Alex, the lead character, uh, explains that he was with his droogs, his friends, his mates, and uh, his, gang. It's, his gang, yeah, you know, so droogs just is a natural fit because we are just a bunch of friends getting together in a gang. Of, mm. Cool. You know, so. Gang of droogs, yeah. yeah. How'd you meet? Craigslist. Craigslist. <laughs> really? Yeah. Holy mackerel, let me write that down. Craigslist. Craigslist. <laughs> find friends on I have to yeah. learn. Yeah, yeah, find new friends. It is a wonderful I have to learn. thing. I mean, yeah. it's free. How do you do that? It, and it's, uh, anybody with a computer can do it. It is know? hit or miss, but we yes. got lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, you guys Actually, sure did. You who placed sound the great. ad, or how did it work? I responded to Jim's ad, and at the time we had a different drummer and another guy singing, mm -hmm. and it just, we went through five other drummers Joey's before we, we came to Joey. Lucky right. number six. And, yep, uh, so far. Yeah. <laughs> drummers, yeah, the Beatles went through a lot of drummers, I remember, you know, <laughs> the story, you know. So there's the thing about that, you know. Wow, cool. Now, do you have a lot of rings on your fingers? Or? I do not. No, do you, <laughs> who's your favorite drummer? John Bonham. John Bonham. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Good All answer. Right. Yeah, big Led Zeppelin fan. I mm -hmm. think we all are. Yes. Oh, yes. Happy. I could yeah. hear, I could sort of hear when the levee breaks in one of those songs. Hmm. <laughs> I was singing. That's another those. one we could do. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you did your originals, so that was great. Yes. And you have a you have a bass guitar that you made all yes. with your own bare hands. What? Yeah. Tell us yeah. about uh, well, it. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah. um, I was helping a buddy move, and uh, he had a guitar neck up in the in the rafters, it was garage. Hmm. And I'm, of course, I'm like, hey, what mm -hmm. are you doing with this? You want it? Keep it. So, fast so forward a couple of years later, uh, I didn't have a guitar at the time. Um, a, one of the uh, hazards of being a musician is sometimes you have to lose some of your equipment. Take it to the lawn shop to, to get some money. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and so um, I you know, wanted a really nice guitar and to get a Padula or a Zahn or, you know, any of those Warwicks, you know, you're going to spend three, four grand on. And I decided, well, you know, I'm a carpenter, I figure what the hell, you know, so I built the body um, and uh, out of just scrap wood my dad had in his shop, he built furniture. Exotic woods, of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's lace scrap wood. Scrap exotic wood. Yeah. yeah. It's and, pretty nice. Um, but uh, actually the wood came from uh, a local place here, uh, Rare Earth Woods over on M72. So, um, and then I just bought the parts and put them on and bang, bang, bang. Yep. Yeah, I got a guitar, so, you know. <laughs> it's not just any guitar, though. Talk about $4,000, it's could um, be even I more wouldn't than put a price on that of that much, but if I were to make something like three, that for somebody, I'd, you know, in between 2500 to three grand. Yeah. How long did it take you? Um, it took me longer than uh, normal because, you know, you got the day job and everything else and <laughs> just going out to the shop in the afternoons or yeah. evenings. So it probably took me, uh, probably in total hours, probably about 100 to 125. All right. So not really that long, but it took long because, you know, I, I shaped the body and then yeah. it would sit for a while and then, you know, so. Wow. You've got all the, the right story equipment. of my base. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. You have all the Great. right equipment, the sanders and the yes, routers yeah, and all the that. Routers, yeah. Yeah, the table saws. And, that. and I don't know if you could see it in the in the performance piece that we did, but the casing on the amp I was playing was also built by Jim. Oh, so. that's right. We were <laughs> yeah. talking about that when we were setting up really nice amp. Thank you. Wow. Thank yeah. Really nice wood. So, yeah, well then, that, you guys uh, wrote all the songs you played today. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could pick out one or two and tell us about who wrote it and how were you inspired? Well, first question, did you guys work as a group on any one particular song or was this like individual songs? Uh, it's kind of a mixture, yeah, I would yeah. say. Uh, but I think the first one we opened with was uh, Sharks in a Park and that was one that I had been kicking around with an old band and it never really came to fruition until I brought it to these guys. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I just called it Sharks in a Park because it's kind of fun and snarky and it rhymes. <laughs> but uh, it, I wrote it and I was going through some personal issues and a lot of 
a lot of my friends turn out to not be friends, you know how that goes sometimes. So oh, like, great title. the water's full of sharks. Hmm. You know, kind of a I, I, I tend to write metaphorically about true situations. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much where that song came that's from. Great. Um, I think the second one we played was something clever, and that that's actually our newest song. Yeah, very new. And we all we all collaborated on that one, and it's uh, how do we <laughs> we tried to get a little political without being too oh, yeah, over yeah. the top with right. it. Oh, um, so what's the message? Well, like in the chorus, it says red or blue pill. It's all the same, and that's kind of a reference to oh uh, right right yeah Democrat or Republican in the same really, boat. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, we're we're Americans. You know, we're supposed to be like a unit, and instead we're divided among. Well, well you know, lines. in psychology of persuasion, they always say give people a choice, but not sure. too much of a choice. Right. So right. That's why we the only have of choice. two parties, uh, right. not that yeah, one. Party. Very true. The yeah. illusion of choice. So then, when some smart aleck comes along and says, "Play something clever," Bingo. you guys, ah! you guys can play something clever. Well, that's actually <laughs> how the name of the song came about. Was we were. We had just come up with the shell of it, just you know, rough guitars and bass, and we had a, just a, a drum track, because Joey couldn't make it to practice that week. And I was sitting there trying to think of a song title, and Jim's like, just type something. I'm like, I know, I'm trying to think of something clever. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> Bingo. Bingo. I love it. You know? And another song we did, I don't know. Oh, Again, yeah. the same thing. It's like, what are we going to call this one? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and no one else, and there are no songs out called Something Clever or I don't know, so you guys got them. Uh, I never heard of it. I'm sure there probably is, but you know. I think our knows. next song is going to be called What's Next, because that's another <laughs> question we ask ourselves. So, so yeah, during the set, yeah. <laughs> Actually, we were out in the lobby and uh, came up for another idea for a song. Uh, what was it again? Hurricane What's Her Name. Yeah, Hurricane oh, What's Her Name. Nice. Oh, right. <laughs> because we couldn't think of the one that was blowing Sandy. in from the East Coast. Sandy. Nice. Hurricane What's Her Name. <gasps> Sandy, awesome. yeah, Sandy, yeah. you know that's that's all um, that's all liberal propaganda. I don't believe there's a hurricane. <laughs> right. I really don't it's think a hurricane. Yep, you know, if any buildings fall down, they're that, probably that's ready to be fall one down. Hell of a anyway. set, though. You, you know. know? <laughs> you oh the, yeah. The whole salt water in New Jersey. Yeah. I don't know, man. No. What will Aquafina do? I know. <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> they're going to have to spend more money on filters. Yes. Right. That's true. Oh, that's so, you know, well, it's really great having you guys here on Northern Michigan Musicians Thank you. Journal. Yeah, it's great to be here. Tell your friends that you should surf above the number 50 because we're on Absolutely. 97. And My if friend, they, I'm telling everybody. Yeah. 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 And, if they, and, if, and if they don't have charter cable, which is pretty popular around here, they can go on to upnorthmedia.org and look for our show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they could see you guys and they could see Miriam. She was on our last show. Mm -hmm. And. Um, uh, I have a question. Sure. Yes. How yeah. do people find out where you're playing? Do you have a website or Facebook or anything? We do. We do. Uh, we are at uh, on the World Wide Web at ReverbNation.com. Cool. Front slash The Droogs Rock, all one word. Cool. Uh, we also have a Facebook page. Um, Is it The Droogs or The Droogs Rock? The all Droogs one Rock word. Uh, at for the Reverb Nation. Um, because oh, the, Dro the, the Droogs Rock God. at ReverbNation.com? No. Well, no, it's nope. ReverbNation.com slash The Droogs Rock. Slash, okay. Yeah. And, and then, good, uh, good, good. Facebook, I think, is, is Facebook.com slash Droogs Rock. Yes. Okay. The. Cool. That, that and uh, I think right. when? Friday? <laughs> yeah. Friday. Friday, Friday, we are playing at uh, Studio Asylum, which uh, is Studio here in Anatomy. Traverse. Anatomy, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, which is here on Front Street in Traverse City. Uh, it used to be the old uh, Good News Music. Good News Music. <gasps> Studio oh, I Anatomy. I was just hearing about that. Yeah, is, that's is, great. That, is that Oriental restaurant, the Panda? Is that what it was called? Right there, somewhere on that same side of the street. There used to be a big and tall men's shop on that side of the street, too. Uh, you're talking about, I'm from Detroit oh. originally. <laughs> <laughs> Within the good seven news. years span, I've been here. Good so, news. But, yeah. Isn't that by Subway? Oh, I'm thinking of Zamar. Yeah, yeah, I was right. thinking of oh, Zamar. Yeah, you're thinking Logan's you're Landing. Thinking yes. Is, oh, is Zamar still yeah. around, by the way? Yeah, they, yeah, they moved all Because they had a problem. They, they had some guitars that were bought in Nigeria or something. Oh, yeah. They never had the money. Well, they're yeah, on they Front had, Street now. Yeah. They had a credit card fraud deal that they had. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, Zamar. So good this news. Friday, news doesn't exist Front anymore Street, either. what's it called? Studio Anatomy? Anatomy. Mm -hmm. Studio yes. Anatomy. A provocative name. That's I cool. I wish uh, I could take credit for it. Wow. It's the opening <laughs> night for them. And, yeah. uh, we'll oh, be my there. gosh. You're the kickoff. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll be opening the show, and uh, those, there's also going to be uh, the Bell Beat out of Detroit is going to be playing um, Slice Future. 
uh, out of Traverse, and then Hello Dear Monster also out of Traverse. Wow. So, Hello we'll Dear right Monster. It's going to be going to yeah. be an interesting rock show. bands, it's heavy very, metal. Very it's heavy. a very varied um, group of genres that's going to be there. Cool. Yeah. They got you know us, which is just kind of middle of the road rock and roll. I, I like to think I don't know. <laughs> I really how we sound nice, other people, yeah. but um, and then uh, Zeppelinish. The Bell Beat <laughs> is uh, more indie kind of. Yeah. With a bit of a country flavor to yeah. it, but not too much. Yeah. And Slice Future, I actually haven't heard anything of theirs yet. They, I finally did. Um, Mike Colderson, who's uh, in Slice Future, um, mm -hmm. sent me a link to one of their songs. And uh, it's very indie, very indie pop cool. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's it's all good. It's going to be a great show. I'm yeah. looking forward and to Jim, it. And Jim, you, I understand, you used to play in Detroit. Yes, I did. For Compare Detroit to Traverse City. Um, really is no comparison. <laughs> uh, it is night and day. Uh, Detroit, at least back in the 90s when I was playing, it was very competitive, and the bands really were, even if you're playing on the same bill, we're like, oh, good show, you know. That, like, but up here, everybody's like, man, what a great stuff, man. I can't oh. wait to see you again. You know, and yeah. it's just a lot more friendlier. And What's more and up here. Yeah. <laughs> what side of town were you? I, I lived, uh, I'm from somewhere. Farmington, which is on the west oh, yeah. side. Oh, yeah. But I lived in Royal Oak at the time. Oh, so happening. Yeah, I, I'd, Oak, I'd hop on, on Woodward, Woodward, Woodward Avenue and go up and down Woodward Avenue. <laughs> And uh, from all the way up north from Pontiac to Griff's Grill there, and as far south as um, so, so did Magic you have your State. own band, or did you play with other guys? Yeah, no, we were a original band. What was the name of you? Uh, we were called uh, well, several things: uh, Indica, <laughs> Friends of Bob, and Quantum Antelope were our three. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. So interesting. But uh, yeah, it, it's so much nicer up here. I mean, even you know the winter or the summers up here can't be beat. Oh, oh, are you kidding? Story. Yeah, you're not kidding. I, I moved up here in 94, so yeah. I was curious. Sounds yeah. like you're from back there, you know. Yeah, I never left. I was in the wedding band stuff, though. Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah I love it up here. I'm not going back. I like the woods. Yep. Yeah, like, you I know. do, too. Yeah. yeah Oakland County is not conducive to moving around at any rate of speed. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that were the good old days, too, though. We were talking about that early, about how... Uh, before the drinking laws were passed, and then after the gig, you're driving home, and it was like Christmas because all the flashers were on, people getting pulled over, right. yeah. <laughs> and, and then the, the disc jockeys started cutting in on musicians' mm -hmm. gigs. Mm -hmm. But uh, very interesting, yeah. So, so what part are you up near the? I see a M22 shirt. Are you uh, up near the peninsula? Uh, no, I am actually uh, living in um, Long Lake Township. Oh, okay. Nice. So that's. I'm kind Boone, of that's that near Boone's, now. isn't it? Boone's You're out that way? Cedar. So oh. Yeah. A little closer to Did the Did you grow up around Cedar or more Pretty tracks? much, yeah. Yeah, I moved up here from Detroit when I was like four, so I really don't consider Detroit home. Mm. <laughs> mm. Right. Mm. And so what about you? I live in Williamsburg. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah, on the way north. That, and what kind of drum set do you have, Joey? I have a Ludwig. The, yeah, well, top of the line, Ludwig, man. Just Some names down. never change, right. you know, because the guitars, I mean, I don't think we ever heard of a Taylor back in the mm. 60s or 70s. Right. Mm. right. Someone's, well, I don't know when they started, but that, they really made it. Taylor came out, but there, what are, now what about the new drums? Have you played any of the electronic ones where it's just a, a pad with a cord I've hooked up to it? I've played a few of them. I'm yeah. not really a huge fan, but yeah. they are fun, to, you know. Because then you have all kind of extra controls yeah, to concentrate right. on. Yeah, I mean, you can change it into anything you want to, but I can, really can you drive your crazy uh, wood, you know, shallow, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. old school drum set. Yeah, something about that organic feel you just don't yeah. get with the digital. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I've heard arguments about digital recording also, like mm -hmm. that, that it doesn't have the warmth of of oh, analog yeah. and all sure, that. Yeah. But everyone's giving in, everyone's using digital now. It's just so much it's easier. So it is a lot easier. Yeah. 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 Will you guys record or have you recorded anything? Too? I actually have a recording studio set up in uh, our rehearsal space. So, right? um, yeah, we've been working on stuff. You know, we're trying to get enough material. So, an EP, we'll just do a full out LP, yeah, which. I don't know, I'd still call them records today, don't they? <laughs> uh, no. Disc of some sort uh, that you can play and uh, music will issue for us. Uh, but um, yeah, we've been recording. Uh, we probably got 10. At least. Yeah. yeah. 10 songs. That, yeah. That's probably yeah. almost enough for a CD. Yeah. Right. Oh, an yeah. album. In the old days, it would have been more than 10, wouldn't it be? Yeah. Like you have one, eight on one side, eight on the other, or something like that. Depending on how long they are. Mm. 
Right. But I think what, what kind of I don't know our philosophy is. I mean, we we got into this to have fun. Yeah. And uh, you know, so we're not pushing ourselves a whole lot to make a record. I mean, like when we go into the do the recording, we take it very seriously. But as far as you know, setting deadlines to have a record done and that kind of stuff, it kind of makes it more like work than fun. So <laughs> just like having a volunteer TV show, <laughs> it <laughs> yeah. kind of look like work sometimes. Right. Yes. Well, uh, well, I'm sorry Mary couldn't be here today, but um, I'm glad you guys made it and uh, you sounded yeah. really good. Thank you. Now, now you're on TV now, so was there anything you wanted to say to friends, family, or you know? Uh, I would like to give a small shout out to Mojo Hand Effects. All right. Um, they, uh, <laughs> oh, that's a nice T-shirt. I'm not sponsored by them yet. But uh, they are pretty much, uh, I, I kind of stumbled upon their website, and the guy wound up trading me one of his handmade pedals for one that I already had, and I just loved what they did to my sound. So wow. give them a little plug. They're a great company. They do a lot to help, uh, you know, up-and-coming bands and that kind of stuff. And, are they Traverse City? Uh, they're Texas, Texas, unfortunately. I mean, if they were Traverse City, that would be awesome. So. Starts with a T, though. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> just like, you know. T for Texas, T for Traverse City. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. So. Really close. Yeah. Yeah. So. What about you? What about you? Uh, I'd just like to thank you guys for having us on your show and Absolutely. all the northern no, yeah, you're... musicians out there. <laughs> I'd like to thank you guys as well. Uh, um, and uh, support local music because uh, that's why we're here. And uh, I mean, you're not only supporting the band, but you're supporting the venue that they play at. So it's a uh, not it's from Texas, from Traverse City, Traverse from City. Traverse City, and, and oh, and Williams, Williamsburg, mm -hmm. and East Jordan, and Mich and Petoskey, and Boyne. They they count too. Yes, of right. course. Mackinac, anything oh, north should. of Flint. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We should thank Kilkenny's too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Kilkenny's and Scarcasm, which hosts the uh, Wednesday night Ooh, open mics. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, They've uh, been really supportive. Dave, us play. Yeah. Joe, yep. or Jeff, and uh, Adam. Yep. Great group of guys. Great. Wonderful. And of course, well, our families. We yes, yeah, our families. absolutely. Wonderful supportive. <laughs> yes. Yeah, then, folks, thanks for uh, tuning in to. Uh, Northern Michigan Musicians Journal. And uh, we hope uh, you folks enjoyed the show and uh, come back and watch us again. Or you can go on upnorthmedia.org and see the show anytime you want. Fast forward through the crummy parts and just listen to the guys <laughs> play. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we'll see ya. We are the Drews from Traverse City, Michigan, and we're happy to be here on Northern Michigan Musicians Journal. This song is called Guillotine smile.
Thanks for watching Northern Michigan's Musicians Journal. We are the Droogs. We're going to take it down a notch. This song is called Drowning in Tears. Yeah. Hey. 